Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Rainy Day Reactions with Chris and Nia. Today we're going to continue The Leftovers, Season 2, Episode 6, called Lens. But first, what happened last episode? We had a Matt episode. I love Matt episodes. We've had two, right? One Fully focused one. on him? Yeah. Yeah, they were good though. They were both really good. And then both, he had like, he was messy. <laughs> Matt's a so messy, messy guy. <laughs> He's yeah. supposed to be like the, what do you call it? I forgot what you call it. What? The, the the person that has like a lot of wisdom and stuff? I don't know. I'm picturing like the word solid for some reason. Stable? The stone. I don't know. Like a, the stone? The, the st rock? The rock? The Dwayne the Rock Johnson? The stability? The stability. <laughs> yeah. The of anchor? The town or whatever. <laughs> well, maybe not this town, but still, he's like very messy. Yeah. Very, very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would have stories for days of all kinds of shit that he gets himself into. Yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. he decided to do that thing. The the guillotine. They're gonna chop his head off. What is that thing? Where you have people for prisoners? I don't, I don't know what they're called. He's there. Who knows when he's gonna? Someone's gonna relieve him of that uh, punishment or whatever um, john decided not to help him yeah but matt talked to him at the end of the episode i like that. i like that that he went confronted him he was like take this kid um i'll be back eventually i like how matt told him the truth just you know face to face just confident in his truth and like i think i don't know i think i think john took it john yeah. knows it's true and now what's he gonna do with that information because john himself want, does not want to believe in anything strange happening mm -hmm. but he's telling him the, this truth so it's like well what does he think of this right yes. what's going on with john what happened to john to be this way yes and what's gonna happen to mary and what is gonna happen to mary right yes what, what else is gonna happen Mm -hmm. Wonder. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Is this the home of Evangeline Murphy? Who are you? Yes, yes. That's it? What? Excuse me. What is he doing? Hey! <laughs> okay. May I ask, oh my God. were you in physical contact with your husband and your children on October the 14th at the moment of their departure? No. Get the fuck off my porch. Get out of here! What the fuck, dude? Why would you do that? I'm just trying to help you. Like, there's there's a better better way ways to... of presenting this whole thing, dude. This thing very intrusive. What the fuck was that? What the fuck? No. <laughs> I like that they give us like her perspective without like the sound. What? Somebody threw a rock through our window. What? Yeah. Why though? You slept through it? Uh, yeah. Well, what do you think this is about? What do you think this is about? About Matt? Oh. Uh, okay, that makes sense. They know it's her, then you just take it. George. Gravity. George. With the DSD, the Department of Sudden Departure. Nora Durst, Northeast Division. What branch? Our uh, benefits. You? Uh, secondaries. Oh. Secondaries. Hey, excuse me, Mrs. Murphy? Could I talk to you for a minute? Mrs. Murphy, could I just talk with you a moment? Mrs. Murphy! Poor woman, huh? It's horrible. So she threw the rock because of Matt? I mean, I get I get it, but that's also mm -hmm. her home. Yeah. You know, not just John's home. Is the bird in there again? It's dead. Is it dead? Yep. The bird's dead. Wait, she brought gloves though, like she knew. Look, there's oh, been a been bunch of dead ones. Huh. 
Who puts the birds in there? They just appear? Maybe she does. Three girls lifted from here. They're not calling regional. I administered the new questionnaire to the parents of the other girls. None of the frog flags popped. There's a new questionnaire? Uh-huh. The algorithm came from the Japanese. Mm. She needs to get her hands on it. Kidding me? And fire me. <laughs> they want me to sleep with this thing under my pillow. Mm -hmm. The questionnaire says they lifted. Maybe they lifted. Mm. Mm -hmm. And your husband knows. Nora can't have that, huh? She's freak out. What the fuck? It's a baby hey. What? What? What are you doing out here, Miss Lily? So she forgot the baby? Dumbass. Lily. She was on the hood of the truck. <laughs> oh my god. She did. Oh, Kevin was watching her. I thought she was down for now. Where the hell's Kevin? Yep, there you go. Who are you talking to? Myself. Oh shit. I was I forgot to go back out and get her. Kevin? I'm so sorry. Kevin. Bring the baby okay. first. Dude. It happens. It's okay. Laura's so patient with him. You think I'm a lens? Miss Dest, you moved to Jordan, a town with no departures. And that very night, three girls disappeared, one of whom lived next door to you. Yes, She's the Antichrist. You are a lens, Miss Dest. We believe that the demon Azrael has chosen you as his earthbound instrument. This entity resides in you through no fault of your own and is responsible for the chaos. Demon Azrael. Demon. Demon, okay. She's relieved. <laughs> She's like, it's all a joke. I kept saying, why just her? Why just her? They came from the same town. But she's the only one in that family that actually lost someone. Because Kevin and Jill mm -hmm. didn't. I, I was like, wait, why just her? Yeah. Demon. A pie. pie. Another pie. Oh, he's running. Oh. Imagine I, the focus though. I know. What's with the pie? Oh my gosh, she needs to be careful. Oh my god! Shit. Damn it. Say it again and say it's slow. Oh. This guy. Virgil, right? Who is he? One of their parents? I'm not gonna say this again. Stay away from my family. I knew what I did. I knew I could never make it right. And I also knew that you wish it wasn't so, but I am your family, Erica. What did he do? He did something to John? You, you wanna take a bird with you? How the fuck would I do that? Because he knows about your little bird game you got going on. Ah. Did she get the birds from him? Steals them from him? Right? I don't know. I know you go out there to pray with him. Who? Don't make me say his name. Do you know what your father would do if he found out? Shoot him again? Shoot him again? He deserves forgiveness. No, not him. Everyone who asks for it deserves it, Mom. What did Even the grandpa him? do? <gasps> Lori. Where's she calling? Is is Tom there? Tom, my Tom? son, Tommy, is he there with you in Texas? Where the, Where the fuck, fuck is Tom now? now? Never met him. Is something wrong? Uh, well, if you do see him, if he comes there, um, can you tell him I'm sorry? Tom, I'm sorry. Okay, I I'll do that. What the fuck? What the hell's going on? This season just has me like guessing. I know. <laughs> Kevin's like, what's going on? Just go. I love it. <laughs> just, just like, don't look at me. Is it the questionnaire? It is yep. the questionnaire. You better go read it. <laughs> it's She's like, like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> you need to do it now. Go read it in the hallway. Why does he do this? How, how do I stop this? I don't know. It's not. Uh, Jerry, I uh, know. Uh, you gotta Jerry. get out of here. Why does he do this? He's trying to help. 
He's trying to help. Oh, here we this go. This man is crazy. Killed a goat on October 14th before any of us knew what happened. But then all y'all decided that Jerry must have saved us. So now he's holy man and he gets to walk around here killing goats whenever he feels like it, just in case. Hey, can you calm down? You let him do it too. If there aren't any miracles in miracle, then why does he get a pass? For real. All this shit we're walking around here doing, it doesn't matter, it doesn't work. My daughter is gone. So no, no, Jerry. She departed. Tell him, the fuck out of here, Jerry. That was good, though. It explained some of this, like, I don't know, like superstition, I guess, with yeah. some of the things. How often, on average, did you dream about the missing person prior to their disappearance? Three or four times a month. How often, on average, do you dream about them now? Every night. Oh. To the best of your recollection, what were the last words the missing person spoke to you? I don't remember. You don't remember? No. It's real. She's getting nervous, huh? Mm-hmm. Did you withdraw more than $1,000 from your bank within 30 days prior to the disappearance? If so, what for? Yes. If so, what for? What for? I was gonna leave John. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? My grandmother was born here. She lived here all her life. She used to tell us kids, this place is chosen. We didn't believe her, but she said there was a way to prove it. A way to make your wishes come true. You take a bird, you put it in a box, and you bury it. You wait three days, you come back, dig it up, and if it's alive, right then is when you make your wish. And about a month ago, I was walking out to my car and I saw it, a sparrow, lying there like it was trying to get me to help it. Depending on the size of the box, a bird can survive 20 hours. Anything over 30 hours is medically impossible. Oh, I need so I waited the three days. I dug up the box, and I made my wish before I opened it. What was the wish? I wish that my kids would be OK if I left. So I wish that she'd be OK without me. I opened up the box, the bird flew out, and the next night my daughter was gone. It's quite a stretch. Your logic, I'm sorry, it's uh, a little all over the place, don't you think? Well, of course, just think? in denial. <laughs> you wanted to leave your husband, okay. So why didn't he go? Why didn't you? I get it, I felt the same as you. I. I felt responsible for losing my children. I thought it was my fault, but I moved past it. Because that's pathetic. Nora. What the fuck is wrong with her? Did they depart or did they die? What? Your children. You said you lost them. Did they depart or did they die? They departed. Those looks. What were the last words they said to you? To the best of your recollection. She doesn't want to face it, huh? Mm-hmm. She's like in your face, Nora. You like destroyed her. <laughs> She's over there trying to shit on her. She was just I trying to make her herself feel <sighs> sad. I'm letting you handcuff me to the bed every night. We're acting like that's totally normal. Um, I've been seeing someone. Can you phrase it better? Phrase it better. <laughs> this started happening right after we found Lily when you moved in. I thought she'd go away when we came here. Finally. What a weird time to bring this up. Are you seeing her right now? Hmm. What's she saying? She's saying, uh, she's saying, uh, I never should have told you about her. Oh. That I just made a big mistake. What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> she threw the rock back. What the fuck?
Again, everyone's a mess. <laughs> There's like so much always going on with people. Oh my goodness. What the hell? So we finally got some answers about the bird. It was a whole wish thing. So they don't believe in miracles, yet there's everyone pretending that they made a miracle happen and safe to tell. Yeah, like I think that's the confusing part because they don't talk about miracles, but a lot of people are like living like a miracle happened. Living like a miracle happened, and her husband does not believe in miracles. And she does. And she like logically doesn't, but it's like she kind of does in yeah. her own way. Right? Which also explains why she wants to leave him because he's doing all this weird shit trying to avoid talking about miracles. He's got issues too. Yeah. I don't know what the hell happened between him and Virgil, but... I want to know what happened. Do you think that's why he went to prison? I think so. Probably shot Virgil. But what did Virgil do? Like what happened? Yeah. Because they said something about like... He doesn't deserve forgiveness. Yes. Like what happened. I think the part that's really... Okay, this whole DS, the DSD thing and the questionnaire and this um, idea of being a lens is really interesting, right? I think the demon thing is like... I had the same reaction as Laura. Like, okay. Like, you okay, like, like that, sure. okay. But... What if it's not a demon thing? They just they think it's like, oh, this is an explanation, but it's not. But what if, what if there is something to a lens, right? Yeah. Um. But then it's like, but why? And like, why did you remember the location in her house? Like, was it somehow her? Was it just because they were sitting at a table? Remember, like, mm -hmm. and then now this thing where you know the family next door to her this happens to like there's just it's, there's a lot right there and i don't know what she has a lens and the fact that they said that the questionnaire is like they're like updating it or like it's, it's, it's based on this research or whatever they're implementing the research into it and now that she doesn't work there she's out of the loop as what's, of what's going on and these things seem more promising or more accurate and so but she feels like she has no control yeah <laughs> somehow I think the research probably does explain some of it. Yeah. I liked her asking the questions. The whole scene with her and Erica was really good. I think the way Nora handled it was not, really bad. Yeah, it was really bad. But that was more for her. I think she was getting really scared because she knows that by the way that she answered the questionnaire, her daughter and the other girls departed. Yes, they departed and it had something to do with her being around, I think. And she's not safe. Well, her family's not safe. Nope. She's not secure. There. She did all this for nothing. And now Kevin is telling her that he's seeing Patty. <laughs> like, what do you do with all this? It's weird that Patty mentioned that it's a mistake. Yeah. You think it's going to pass anything on to Nora now? Maybe Nora will know. start to... What if Patty and all these people that they're hearing and seeing mm -hmm. are like angels in some way? Mm -hmm. And then Nora's like a demon? Like the, the demon things I say, right? I mean, this show tends to like revolve around like faith and stuff. That, so do you think it'll far? go that far though? Like she's actually lensing like a demon and patty yeah because patty and then they mentioned something about like they're trying to help it's freaking good um the dad kevin senior mm -hmm. had mentioned that they're trying to help right mm -hmm. fucking cut her yeah. and i don't know and they told her she's a demon so hmm. kind of makes sense right I wonder if we're going to get an answer to what happened to the people and if we're ever going to see the people. Right? <gasps> the next day. Will we see the people by the end of the show? One more. Excuse me. One and a half seasons to go. Uh, I finally, I like the explanation about the goat thing. 
and how everyone's just kind of living in this like <laughs> cuckoo way and the lady that's wearing the dress like, like why is this guy coming in here killing goats for no fucking reason and everyone's just but like, now it totally makes sense but you know what is interesting why john because she even told him john you let him do it how why does john let some people do stuff and not others yeah right or does he give people enough flexibility in what they're doing right like it's just kind of weird like why does he make some exceptions and then some people are able to do the tour and do the pictures and you yeah. know what i mean like some people can and some people can't um knowing him he'd keep the whole place from being a tourist attraction. right right yeah and let's see where's tom what happened to i him? think he departed too maybe you think that's what you thought? it's weird because he was like wayne 2.0 so it wouldn't make sense to just remove him from the picture but he got a little right there. <laughs> you think he departed yes i think I feel rough for Lori. She's alone again. Unless she was like, you need to calm down with this wing persona. And he, he took it too far. Like, He's over there uh, touring, giving yeah. hugs and shit. Yeah. I mean, that's also possible. That's kind of what Wayne was doing, right? Like, traveling around and like giving people hugs, spreading a seed. Mm -hmm. What if Tom got took it that far? That. <laughs> um, I don't think I really have anything else other than what's going to happen to Nora now that she knows that. They depart. There are all these secondary departures. <sighs> yes. And what's this Erica versus Nora thing going to turn into? Because they do not like each other right now. Like bumping heads. That look they both had during the interview thingy, fake yeah. interview. That was, was very intense. like messed up from Nora though. Like I evolved. <sighs> like her daughter was missing a few weeks ago. You know, you had, what, like, three years to process everything? And you were getting shot in the chest mm -hmm. not too long ago, right? Stop it. Um, I don't think I have anything else other than this is just getting very interesting. Yes. Can't wait to see more. Yes. And it was nice to see Matt. God damn it. It was nice to see Matt. <laughs> he's not tied there. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing and he's the same. like, yeah, he's just living not suffering he's just kind of waiting to see what happens to mary or if he's able to get back in eventually mm -hmm. right but yeah do you we don't know if no i don't think nora's kids were twins they weren't twins right no they were just i don't think so age, right they were semi-close in age i think you she's mentioned it, the age before you know what is interesting though well i don't think nora was necessarily it I don't think she was going to divorce her husband back then, but she was, like, kind of at a breaking point or, like, they weren't doing great. And yes, Erica has that same thing in common with John around the time that the daughter... That's true. Right? I, I wonder if it's, about that. I don't know, something. I mean, I doubt that many people had beef with each other <laughs> right before <laughs> they departed, but Maybe. it's interesting. Mm -hmm. But it's still around Nora, revolves around Nora. Yeah. Yes. That's it. I think so, yes. Okay. All right. Well, if any of you have anything to add for this episode, just drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you think. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Bye.